Yo, what is good YouTube and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be building the best team possible for under 100,000 MT in NBA 2K22, my team. Now, before we hop into this video, if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 3,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Gonna be uploading a couple videos today and I've been double uploading, triple uploading. I've been uploading a lot recently and I would really appreciate your support if you haven't already. If you do subscribe for some of the best NBA 2K22, my team content around. Uh, but without further ado, let's not waste any time. Now let's get this intro out of the way and let's hop right into it and start off with the starting point guard position at the starting point guard position and i will admit the point guard position might be the weakest position on this list uh there's definitely an argument to be made that it is on this team but we're gonna go with Dion waiters the new iced out Dion waiters he's six foot three with the six six wings but he's got decent size at the pg position only two hot spots but he's got 40 total badges which is really really nice hall of fame fast twitch a bunch of good finishing and shooting badges can get limitless and sniper if you want to add those to him playmaking badge wise comes pretty darn complete with bullet passer handles for days quick first step hyper drive ankle breaker uh, things of that nature pretty complete card overall in terms of his playmaking badge and then defensively he already has picked dodger pogo stick hustler off ball pest tireless defender you can add the clamps the ankle braces the interceptor the pickpocket things like that if you want to upgrade him as a defender i will admit defensively he may be lacking just a little bit which is a little bit of a disappointment but he does have a decent inch de interior defense rating decent perimeter ability as well 90 speed excel and steel ball is really good 90 driving dunk is elite and 87 shot three is really good he's got the same sigs as steve francis which are some super super solid sigs which definitely does help him out and then jump shot 116 uh it's the same jumper as steve francis as well he's basically a very similar to Steve Francis, um, different upper, but it's the same base as Steve Francis. He's a very similar card to Steve Francis in terms of his size, his jumper, the way he's going to move, the way he's going to do all of his things on the court that he does. And uh, overall, he's definitely a really good card is one thing I will say. For his price, he's going to give you a ton on the offensive end of the court and a little bit of defense as well. The thing is, he's only 1.5 thousand MT, and you're just not going to find a better bargain than that for 1.5K. At the shooting guard position, admittedly, we do have a nice little upgrade in Mike Miller, a guy who definitely is, I think, a borderline elite shooting guard in my team right now. Really, really good card. 6'8 with a 6'11 wingspan, which is absolutely incredible size for that shooting guard position. Comes with a hot spots from everywhere outside the three-point line. Six hops, which are limitless takeoff, post drives, or catch and shoot limitless, downhill and quick first step, which are six really good, valuable Hall of Fame badges. Um, every finishing badge that he needs, which really there aren't very many, but he has limitless of post drives on hop, so he's good on finishing badges. Shooting badge-wise, same thing, comes with everything you need. Um, playing badges, really, it's the same thing. You could add handles for days, quick chain to help him out as a playmaker a little bit. Defensively, only silver clamps, gold pick dodger, uh, gold ankle braces, I'm sorry, gold hustler, silver ankle braces. You can add interceptor, intimidator, um, re rim protector, menace, things like that if you want to improve his defense, and that may not be the worst idea in the world. A 70 block isn't bad for a shooting guard. He's got decent perimeter ability, 88 lateral greatness is solid. 95 driving duck is his glitched cryogen this ability which is super solid um helps him out a lot as a card 95 shot three 94 speed and excel 92 the ball he is a really good athlete really good shooter jump shot 72 is a great jump shot release 71 upper is pretty good as well it's the same exact jump shot as uh chris mullen and sam jones except i guess it's right-handed and chris mullins is left-handed but it's smooth quick and easy to green his sigs are good with shifty dribble style so he can move in the half court this is a phenomenal card he comes in at 12 and a half thousand mt and he gives you so much on the basketball court really really elite card overall uh excuse me at the three i'm going with andre kirilenko and i am going with the non-masked version so he's not gonna have the blinders badge that's the only difference between these two cards and this one is cheaper uh but yeah ak is six foot nine with seven foot wingspan hot shots from both corners uh, 88 speed and excel 86 field ball solid decent dunker admittedly his dunking stats aren't great but his dunk animations are good he doesn't get blocked much and they're nice and safe 80 shot three is good enough and defensively he's elite this is a three and d card he can finish and play make a little bit you can add quick first step you can add sniper if you want to upgrade the card but the thing is chase stars clamps and pogo stick is elite he comes with every other defensive bash that you could use pretty much um catch and shoot corner specialist are really all you need in terms of shooting ability especially with an 80 shot three base 29 which is the same same basis, Danny Granger, Drew Holiday, uh, Glenn Robinson, guys like that. Very, very solid jump shot, um, base dribble style, but he's not going to be a dribbler. This guy is a 3 and D guy. He's an elite defender, still one of the best defensive cards in the game. And catch and shoot, he's going to be absolutely chicken and absolutely knocked down. Coming in at 9,500 MT, you really can't ask for much more than that. At the power forward position, we're going with Draymond Green. And this Draymond Green is another really good card. Just great for his buds. It's super affordable and a super, super good two-way guy. 6'7 with a 7'1 wingspan. So not the greatest size in the world, but uh, hot spots from both 
well, both wings and both corners. Five Hoffs, which are a bunch of defensive ones like Hustler, Intimidator, Menace, and Post. Lockdown, elite defensive card, really solid playmaker as well, coming with quick first step at the power forward position. You can add Limitless Spot Up and Sniper to improve him as a shooter. And he's a decent finisher as well with an AS75 driving and standing dunk. 86 shot, 386 speed, and excel, 84 speed of ball. Really, really good defensive ability is super, super nice on both the interior and the perimeter. He just gives you very good versatility on defense, decent athletic ability. He can shoot the ball at a high level. His jumper is smooth and really easy to green, not the fastest jumper in the world. And then he has the pro three behind the back, which is really nice in transition as well to have the best behind the back in the game in that transition opportunity. So he gives you a good amount on the court. Elite defender, solid offensive card, great power forward option for coming in for about 11,000 MT. And then at the starting center position, we're going with George Mikan. Um, this Mikan card is really, really good. It really it doesn't matter which Mike and you pick they're basically the exact same card in fact they are the exact same card even down to the badges they can get because they can both get any badge in the game but uh Mike and is 610 with a 7 one experience he's got solid size hot spots from both corners four hops which are grace under pressure limitless takeoff post riser and downhill uh comes with every shooting badge you can need except for limitless spot up um same thing with playmaking like you can add quick first step and bailout those two badges are nice but like I would add those two. And then Clamps Interceptor defensively. If you badge this card out, if you can find one badged out, he is going to be better. But even unbadged out, really good. Solid defender on both the interior and the perimeter. Really good on the interior. Decent on the perimeter. 95 driving dunk is great. 86 speed and excel. For a center is elite. And an 80 shot three is really good as well. He's glitched athletically with that good speed, the really good dunking ability. So that does help this card out a lot. Um, definitely improve him a significant amount. Jump shot forward with release 70 upper is really good. It's the same upper as I think Wes Unseld has. Um... No, I'm wrong about that. It's the same upper as John Collins has, though, and uh, Dolph Shays. But Drop Shot 4 is a solid base. It's smooth and pretty easy to green, relatively quick. Uh, one of the better big men releases in the game. Fundamental dribble style as well is really, really good. It's the third best dribble style in the game behind quick and shifty. And uh, yeah, allows you to create a lot more with him than you'd be able to create with pretty much any other center in the game because he has good speed and that nice dribble style. And overall, he is 25 KMT, the most expensive player on this team, but I think it's worth it to have an elite comp level center starting at the center position in this team. At the backup point guard position, like I said, the point guard position is not the strongest position on this team, but it still is solid. Marcus Smart gives you a great defensive point guard who can give you a decent amount on the offensive end of the court as well. 6'3 with a 6'8 wingspan is solid size. Hot spots from everywhere. Uh, 34 gold badges, which include a catch, shoot, chef, blinders, sniper, silver limo, spot up, silver mismatch, gold quick first step, bullet, bailout. You could add handles for today's hyperdrive quick chain. And defensively, he's really good on the perimeter as well. As you can see, elite perimeter de de defender, even a decent interior defender. He can dunk the ball. He can shoot the ball. He's got good speed, suit, and acceleration. Only thing is, it's low ball handle so if you can find one with a ball handling shoe or put a ball handling shoe on him yourself to get him up to that ball handling threshold that you need uh, a coach will boost that as well so if you can get one with the plus three ball handle a coach and floor general will boost that up to the 86 that you need for um, speed boosting but definitely going to want to get that on him to allow him to be a creator but uh, besides that he's a very very good card jump shot 66 is smooth and really easy to green i compare it to base 75 which is the siakam jalen brown type release it's similar to that release really smooth and easy to green um Quick dribble style as well is really nice. Full court stakes aren't great, but uh, overall, really, really good card. Um, four of Ruby, he's great. He is about 7,000 MT, which makes him one of the most expensive Ruby cards in the game, but definitely a really solid point guard option. At the backup shooting guard, we have Mr. Buddy Healed, and I'm talking about Evo and Buddy Healed. You could buy an Amethyst Buddy Healed and Evo him and maybe save yourself a couple thousand MT, but it's really not going to save you much. So you might as well just buy the Diamond one. Um, and Diamond Buddy Healed, five Hoffs, 39 gold, 6'4 with a 6'9 wingspan, which may not be the greatest size in the world, but it's definitely solid enough. Hall of Fame stop and pop, ankle braces, clamps, pick dodger, and pickpocket, as well as an interceptor, intimidator, menace, pogo stick on gold, ball stripper on gold, chase on ours, gold bullet, quick first step, tie handles, unpluckable. I wish he had handles for days that is the one badge this card is missing that would really take him to that next level because if he had handles for days this card would be nuts but in terms of shooting already has the blinders the chef the spot up the sniper all those badges solid dunker elite shooter decent speed suit vault acceleration can speed boost and a really good perimeter defense interior wise he's not going to be great but you can't always have everything and his jumper is incredible kobe base with quick timing is maybe the best jumper in the game right now i really do believe that i think there's an argument you made that it is the best jumper in the game you could also argue rudy gay on quick 98 things like that but it is a great great jumper uh quick dribble style as well so he can move in the half court um his size up is nice like this card can really really hoop if he had handles for days he'd be one of the best couple shooting guards in the game unfortunately because he doesn't it limits his creating ability just a little bit but with his jumper he is such an elite offensive card comes in at about 11,000 t and i think he's worth every penny of that 11k 
At the back up small forward position, we have Scotty Pippen, who really gives you a very similar amount to AK. They're both elite defensive guys who can catch and shoot at a high level. And Scotty is 6'8 with a seven foot wingspan, which is really good size. Hot spots from both corners, which is great because that's where they're going to be on the offensive end of the court most of the time. And five hops, Clamps defensive leader, Menace Alpha, passing tireless defender. Elite defensive stats on the perimeter and really solid on the interior as well. Uh, doesn't Not missing really any defensive batters except for that maybe that rim protector. Uh, playmaking wise, quick first step, bullet passer, glue hands, bam out all those badges on gold is super nice and then shooting wise he doesn't have limitless he doesn't have sniper you can add them to him if you want but again not crucial especially at that, at that small forward position 89 speed and excel 85 driving duck 87 speed ball 85 shot three is really good um the, statistically he's better than ak i just think ak is slightly better because i like ak's jumper a little bit more base 29 is definitely better than base 30 because 30 isn't the quickest jumper in the world but it still is really smooth and really easy to grin rudy upper makes it a nice quick um, a good upper and it's really high high upper as well which is good and obviously he has his own behind the back the pippin behind the back which is pro three and the best moving behind the back in the game so that does give him a little bit of versatility in the in the full court as well so that's just an extra thing that he has going for him he costs about eight thousand t which is a great price and he's a really really good lock at that back small forward position at the power forward position we're going with sapphire jonathan isaac one of the best like cheap super cheap budget cards in the game 85 offense 93 defense 6 to level with 7 2 wingspan hot spots from both corners uh comes with catch and shoot corner special so it's the only two shooting badges you really need though and the guy's gonna be standing in the corner and catching and shooting on the offensive end of the court hall of fame po i'm sorry gold post drives are gold on triple gold fast switch acrobat is nice 85 driving duck is good can shoot the three not the fastest at all uh, but he does have gold quick first step bail out downhill glue hands which is good um yeah really solid card silver bullet passer as well defensively he's really nice mid 80s uh on everything in a 93 block 86 a level with a 7 2 wingspan if y'all have used this card don't know how good of a defender he is jonathan isaac every year is an elite defender and this year is no different he's an elite defensive card with elite length he plays lanes really really well uh, and he can dunk the ball and shoot the ball as well on the offensive end of the court. And that's all he needs to do. His jumper is really good. 70 on quick. It's the same jumper as guys like Tobias Harris, Karis LeBert, uh, Gerald Green. Really smooth, quick, and easy to green. And fundamental dribble style as well. He's really good. Like I said, third best dribble style in the game after quicker shifty. So he may be able to go get you a bucket and get some burst animations that other guys like a Scottie Pippen or Andre Karolink or Avian or on Green are not going to be able to give you. So the fact that he can do that is nice. And the best thing about Jonathan Isaac, to be completely honest, is the fact that he's 1.25 KMT. You can get a great 3 and D guy who might be able to get you a bucket for less than 1.5 KMT. It just doesn't get much better than that. And then finally, at the backup center position, this is no surprise. It's Mr. Evan Mobley. This card is phenomenal, uh, especially for his price. Really, really good card. Mobley is the backup center on my God Squad right now. Admittedly, I have a fully batched out Evan Mobley on my God Squad, but seven foot with seven four wingspan is elite size for a center. Hot spots from three out of five spots. Thirty four total badges, which include good interior badges, catch and shoot corner specials, hot zone hunter, uh, bailout bullet, dimer, glue hands, post playmaker and Hall of Fame. And Ankle braces, brick wall, chase down clamps, interceptor, intimidator, menace, pogo stick, post lockdown, rebound chaser, rim protector, silver ball stripper. He's not missing much either. You can add quick first step to him. That helps. You can add sniper to him. Those two badges are good as well as limitless spot. If those three badges to him will help. You could add limitless and post riser as well if you wanted to. But overall, he comes really complete, especially for an amethyst card. 92 interior, 82 lateral, 92 block. Just a really good card. He can rebound at a solid level. He's got really good size. He's got 81 speed and excel, which is solid for a center. 84 shot three and an 80 driving dunk, 85 standing dunk. Uh, good jumpers, jump shot 84, which is the same base as guys like Tyrese Maxey, uh, Emmanuel Quickly, etc. Um, definitely smooth. Easy to green jumper. He's not going to be creating for himself at all, but in terms of a pick and roll, pick and pop big man who plays elite defense, Evan Mobley gives you all of that for a really, really good price. Only coming in at about three and a half thousand MT. So uh, yeah, in total, this team will cost you 90.25K, just barely over 90,000 MT, which gives you a little bit of MT actually to play with between that 100K mark and how much this team actually costs you. And overall, I think this team, if you get this these cards, you could pull it, go, I think you could 100% go 12 and 0 and unlimited with, these t with this team, or I guess you only have to go 12 and 4. You can easily go 12 and 4 and unlimited with a team like this and get the unlimited reward card, complete showdown, things like that, and build your team. And this doesn't even include all the free cards that you 
you can be running, whether that's Carmelo Anthony, a Kevin Garnett, an Allen Iverson, a Gary Payton, a Jason Richardson, a Damian Lillard, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There are so many free cards in the game right now that you can be running and substitute into a team like this to improve the team further. And uh, just overall, really, really easy to be a no money spent player this year and have a quality squad. And uh, hopefully this video does help you a lot if y'all are just starting the game and trying to figure out what type of team to build. So uh, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.